how not to stumble non-believers when I myself fall in sins? Simply, we are not preaching ourselves. We are not saying to people that we are perfect people, we are the best people, we are not doing any sin. We never preach this way. We preach Christ. We preach God is love. We are showing everyone the way we are walking in. So we are not telling people we are the saints and you are the sinners and you have to be like us. We never say so. You have to be like Christ. And we are trying to be Christ-like. So in doing this, people will accept it because you are not speaking about yourself. That's pride. That's not Christianity. You are talking about the beloved Christ, the real God, the God incarnate. So when you point at Christ with a loving heart, people will love to know more because even if you are still doing some sin, you are, you are telling them, I have the gift of forgiveness. I know the way. I know my Father God will forgive me because I go back to him. I ask for his forgiveness. He is helping me to change. I feel the transformation, the gift of the Holy Spirit. So you are just giving them the keys of life. How to live a real life with God. By doing this, people will accept it, even if you are not doing all things perfect. Remember that the Samaritan woman, although the people of Samaria, they knew her old life and they were not happy with her character. But still, when she speaks with full heart, loving Christ, and she was just directing everyone to know him, they followed her. And they accepted the message just because you never said, I'm good, but simply she said, I'm bad, and you all know that I'm bad, but I found him. I found the one who will save me. So by saying so, people followed her.